Hello all, this video is on cloud automation with Ansible and today we are going to see how to launch an EC2 instance in AWS using Ansible. We will discuss two scenarios over here. In scenario 1, Ansible will be running on your system locally and in scenario 2, Ansible will be running on your EC2 bastion host. So let's start with scenario 1. For this, you will need a Linux server hosted locally on your PC. Here I am using a CentOS 7 with modules such as Boto, Python and Ansible installed. You will also need a AWS account with privileged access to launch EC2 instance. So let's start with creating the AWS account. Log into your AWS console. Go to IAM section. Users. And then add user. Enter a username. Select programmatic access since we are going to use this user to access AWS programmatically. Then you can attach policy or you can create a new policy. We are going to use an att uh, attach an existing policy. EC2 full access. Create user. Then you can download your secret access key and access key ID. Once downloaded, you can log into your server. Now we'll install Ansible. Now since this is a Linux server, Python will be pre-installed over here. But for installing Boto, we will no need uh, pip, a Python module to be installed. So we need to install that. Ansible is installed, we can check it like Ansible hyphen hyphen version. So the version which we are using is 2.5.5 and the config file will be etc ansible ansible.cfg. Now let's install the pip module. The pip is installed, we can go ahead and install boto, pip install boto. So boto is installed now. Now you create a dot boto file locally in your home directory with these details and enter the access key id and secret access key which you just downloaded for the user over here and save this file with permission. 400. I'm done with mine. Once you are done with yours, let's proceed with writing the playbook. Task.yml is my playbook. Provide a name to the playbook. Z2 launcher is for me and provide hosts local host and then connection should be local and now let's start with tasks the module which we are going to use to launch EC2 is EC2 you can find the module in the Ansible doc section. Okay, and you can find a lot of examples over there. Let's proceed with writing our playbook. Now, you have to define the instance type which we are going to launch. So, since I'm using free tier, so I will be launching t2.micro. Next is key key pair. So 
so key pair you will be finding in the EC2 section if you have an existing key pair use that one if you don't have any then go and launch so I have one I'm gonna use it text define image that is AMI so again AMI you can find while launching an instance Since I'm, I'm going to use Amazon AMI, I'll be using this AMI ID. You can find other AMI IDs also in the EMI section. Now define the region. I'm going to launch my instance in US West 2. And the security group, I'm going to use default security group for me. Then the number of instances to be launched it's just one for me subnet id this is vpc subnet id so you have to choose a subnet from the region where you're going to launch your instance go to vpc and in the subnet section you can find all the subnets which are available for you select one which are which is in your region so for me, I'm going to use this one. Then if you want the playbook to wait for the instance to be launched, give wait as yes. And then provide assign public IP, which means if you want your EC2 instance to be assigned the pro public IP by default give it as yes if you want it to I think we are done save your playbook now before running the playbook let's check if we have an existing EC2 instance running So I don't have any. Let's go ahead and run the playbook. So it's running. It failed. Uh, it looks like I've given the wrong subnet ID. So it validates with your AWS configuration. If, some, if something is wrong, it fails. Let's go ahead and check the subnet ID again. So let's save and run it again. We can always define gathering facts as no. It's it has logged into my AWS console and it is trying to launch the instance now. Let's check. Have a running instance now. So uh, the playbook has completed successfully. You can run your own playbook. You can launch your own instance. And once done, don't forget to remove the instance. For more videos on automation with Ansible, please subscribe my channel. And please watch this section for the next video, which is on scenario two for launching EC2 instances from EC2 Bastion. Thank you.